I am really terrible at making female friends because I'm a big believer that they ruin your life. <laughs> Here's why. So, first of all, they're awful to go out to eat with. Have you guys ever had dinner with a group of girls from Los Angeles? Because I'm here to tell you, it is literally the fucking worst thing you could do. Okay? Besides some girl being late, we all have this friend. She's late, then she comes in. And she's so dramatic, you guys. She comes in and she sits down at the table and she's like, oh my god, you guys. I was running around all day. I was so busy. I forgot to eat. I'm starving. <laughs> what? What are you talking about? What do you mean you forgot to eat? You guys, I will never forget to eat. Why? Because I love food. It's delicious. Two, they leave you hanging, and I'm talking big time. I was in D.C. a few weeks ago, you guys. I have a friend. She's, like, real high up in politics. Like, can't tell you what she does, but she's pretty cool. And she wanted me to go to this awesome party with her. But she thought my outfit was a little inappropriate. So she, I borrowed from her a black top, a black skirt, and black boots. Black top, black skirt, black boots. I paired it with a cute le yellow belt. So we're at the party, and I'm talking to this guy who is approximately 37 lines of cocaine into the evening. And the guy takes a step back, like mid-sentence, and he like slurs at me and goes, who invited Batman to my party? <laughs> You guys. I look like Batman, and my friend never told me. So rude. Three, their problems become your problems. Have you guys ever noticed on a group of friends, if, like Vanessa doesn't like Becky, nobody can like Becky? My friends take it to a whole new level. I'm down in like Koreatown with a girlfriend of mine. She's born and raised, so she's like super small, but savage. And I look over, and her name's Lucy, and she's getting into it with a group of Korean girls. And I'm like, I don't speak Korean, but like friend law says, I have to suss out the situation. So as I'm walking up, Lucy switches from Korean to English long enough for me to hear, and my friend will fuck up you and your friends too, bitch. <laughs> Lucy, uh, <laughs> what friend are we talking about? <laughs> Did you call for backup? I suffer from extreme claustrophobia. And, uh, and uh, that basically translates to I have a rational fear of enclosed spaces and also like a loss of airwave. I didn't think it was a big deal. I don't know how people do it. Until I started dating this guy recently. And uh, it was going great. Like we were really, we were really great together. And we were one night back at my place, having sex. And as he was about to finish, he placed his hand over my mouth. <laughs> Side note, I never disclosed to him that I was extremely claustrophobic. So I am freaking out in my head. I am going through all the Fs. Fear, fight, flight, faint. And I'm thinking to myself, okay, Meg, you gotta dig deep, all right? Dating in LA is hard. You see a future with this guy. What would any normal, well-adjusted, healthy girl do? I throat punched him. <laughs> so I'm single again. <laughs> he never called me, because <laughs> he's dead. You guys, I'm single. <laughs> I know, it's shocking. My crushes um, were really off base growing up, I've learned recently. I had a crush, you guys, I had it bad. For Jonathan McKnight, New Kids on the Block, he's gay. After that, I really, really a uh, thing for Lance Bass and Sync. Gay, yeah. And the final one was uh, Chris Benoit. Uh, WWF, World Time, Three Wrestling Federation Champion. He murdered his whole family. Um, that one's on me. That one's my bad. My bad, guys. <laughs> one thing I am, I will say, one thing I'm really good at when I go home, um, a lot of actors get like nervous when they have to go home because it's like running into old friends or like frenemies, and it becomes like a competition. Like, what are you doing with your life? Doesn't bother me. I'm prepared. 
So when I ran into my little friend of me, we'll call her Jenna, cause that's her name. <laughs> And she's all, oh, well, things with me, besides Steven's raise. Can you believe that our little Karen won student council president by over 50 votes? <laughs> anyway, how's LA? Are you still telling the jokes? <laughs> I am, yeah, thanks. Uh, LA's good, thanks, thank you for asking. You've been Steve's been married, what, like 10 years? Oh, well, that's cool. Yeah, I mean, recently I just had like three one-night stands, <laughs> one of which I like was a 25-year-old I banged in the bathroom at Hudson. <laughs> so it looks like little Karen and I are both pulling in some big numbers. <laughs> anyway. When I moved to Hollywood to pursue comedy, uh, a wise man once told me that I would do very, very well as long as I always remembered your comedy, not glamour. My grandpa's really mean and <laughs> truthful. 